This video is to walk you through the process of downloading and installing the statistical package we'll be using this semester. It's called Gretel. And we'll just do a simple Google search for it, G-R-E-T-L, and you'll find either Gretel for Windows or Mac OS. I think everyone in the class had either Windows or a Mac operating system. Right now, I'm working on a Windows laptop, so I'm going to choose that and I'm going to go to Downloads. I'm going to go for the latest release and choose the self-installer for a 64-bit operating system. Most of you will be using a 64-bit operating system unless you have a much older computer. 64 bits has been the norm for at least six or seven years now. So I'm going to go with that. And if that doesn't work, download the 32-bit one. And I'm going to Scroll down until I see the download link. Oh, it's already downloading. Never mind. It'll be similar on a Mac. And once you do that, I'm going to double click and open the file. And I'm just going to choose yes to install it on the hard drive. I'm going to leave all the defaults right where they are. And it's going to install right in this location. I'm going to leave the start menu folder being Gretel. And I don't think we really need to add this to the path, but it won't hurt. So I'm going to do that and just click Install. In case it did finish and something went wrong at the very end, I'm just going to go down to Gretel and see that it has in fact finished. I was just a little impatient. And I'm going to click Finish. And now it's installed. So if I go to my start menu and scroll down to Gretel, I will see it's right here and I can now open it. And there we go. If you want to play with this a little bit, there are some sample data sets in here. So you can open the data and use one of the sample files if you just want to experiment with it a bit. There's quite a few data sets in here that you can play with, but we'll hold off on that until a little bit later. So that's it. If you're running a Mac and you're running one of the two most recent operating systems, you're going to have to override the default permissions. This is not downloaded from the Apple Mac Store or from one of the official sites. It is something you can trust, though. Alan Cottrell is a very good programmer, and the code is open source and it's published publicly. So you don't really have to worry about it, but you will have to give it permission. So you'll have to go into your Apple menu, go to your security and privacy options, and give it permission to open the program. And that should be it.